be realistic with your time frame. UK timetables simply will not work in the Indian market and you have to start working to Indian standard time. This can be very frustrating when you first enter into that market, but it's one of the cultural norms when doing business in India. India is a very relationship driven country and it takes a lot of time to build that trust. But once you are there, a lot of business will flow on the back of it. So from a relationship perspective, it takes a bit more time I have found than doing business here in the UK. Again, it's, it's pivotal you do your research before entering into the market. Take baby steps. Don't have to jump in straight into joint venture or setting up your entity. Because more often than not, you need to ascertain where your clients are going to be, which dialect they're speaking, which part of the region they're in. So what we have found, those who are the successful have initially incubated, taken their time to do their research. Once they're sure what's the right part of the market for them, then set up an entity. Getting your structure right. This is key no matter which territory you go into, but given the fast paced, changing, dynamic landscape of India, it's pivotal you get this right here now. So you have to make sure you know what your exit strategy is and how you can take your money back into the UK market in a tax efficient manner. India is a dynamic country uh, and the tax system, which has been overly complex for a number of years, is going through a massive overhaul. The recent implementation of GST is still causing a lot of uncertainty in that market. So what's really important uh, as an overseas business going into that market is to do the research and know what the implications of GST are for you.